Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines. Just want to show everybody on how to get into the spark plug on a Briggs & Stratton engine. This is a 9 horsepower horizontal. They're on a lot of snow blowers, but this one here I just want to show you is a Toro Power Max. And uh, basically this is video is for uh, just to see where the spark loca location is on a uh, Briggs 9 horsepower horizontal shaft motor. I'm going to come over here and the tools that I'm going to use are you have a 5 8 spark plug socket tool, extension, 3 8 drive ratchet. Of course, my fender tool that I use, this really helps get the booties off the uh, spark plug. 5 16 nut driver you can be used, or 5 16 I'm going to use an electric ratchet. You can use a 5 16 but that's all you need. This is a spark plug that came out of it. It's an RC12YC. I put uh, NGKs in, but uh, you can you just put a regular RC12YC in there if you want to. Okay, so the first thing I do is take some of our tools over here, come over to the right above where the choke is. Okay, I have a choke knob. This choke knob can be a little bit tough getting off. That's why you have the fender clip tool here, and you can just pry under, and it should pop off. All right. Sometimes they get real sticky, and they get real tough, but they do pop off. Okay, just make sure you've got them in the right direction. All right, just make sure you go back on the way they came off. And we have 5 16 here, 5 16 here. And you can take off this lower part here if you want to. I'm just going to take off the top and see if we can do it from there. Spark plug wire is located underneath that. Some of these are actually wing nuts, uh, these were bolts, but they did put um, black wing nuts on top of these and they you gotta watch out they get really seized in there because of uh, just the way you're out in the snow and and these little holes here will get a uh, corrosion in them so sometimes if you if you have never seized you can put a little bit of never seized in there but being that the muffler is right here it actually uh, it's not gonna matter too much they're, it's, they're just gonna be tight a little bit of PV blaster might work too but inside here inside this cover is the back side of the spark plug booty right here this is a spark plug wire here now you can try and pull this out. Now I guess they make it pretty easy. That's, I think that's why this little booty on the ends here, so you can pull this out. But it, you really got to be careful because you can, you can hurt it. I mean, you could try pulling it out from there. I just use my trusty old fender clip tool here and pop it out from as low as I can get it on the spark plug and pop it off. And there's the spark plug inside there. And then I'm just gonna use your 5 8 deep socket or spark plug tool, it's deep and extension 3 8 once it comes out. So, this is basically just showing you the location where the spark plug is, and I'm just showing you how it comes out right there. You just gotta be careful and pull them out. And we put NGKs back in here, so this is a brand new one. I just wanted to get a video out to you all to see where the location is of the spark plug. And it's pretty straightforward. Just don't make sure you cross thread it. Sometimes you can use a tool they have for spark plugs, or you can take the socket. The socket has a, uh, it's supposed to have a rubber grommet on the inside of this tool to hold the spark plug. You can use that. Once you get them started, you screw it back in, snug them up. And they have a crush washer on the bottom of the spark plug. There's supposed to be so many foot pounds of torque. If you snug it up, just don't over tighten it you should be fine and then spark plug boot back on and usually you want to hear it click or feel something click in there it's a little hard on this one to feel it and just make sure by pulling on them they don't pop back off again yeah I felt it click in there and just make sure you pull back make sure it doesn't go anywhere and put your cover back on and this one actually has, has little slots in it if you can see this underneath, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this or not, but this cover here, my thin, it has a slot right here. This slot here is going to go against this right here. All right, and there's also one on the other side. It's a little tricky, but you can kind of get, get them in the slots, and it should fit right down flush. It takes a little bit of trying sometimes, but that's pretty much it. Let me put your bolts back in and your top of your choke knob back on the right direction like I said just make sure I start everything always start all your bolts first before you tighten them up just to make sure they're 
seated properly before you tighten them all up. And then your choke knob, which goes on exactly the same way as it come off, and that should pop down, snap in. Make sure it's working. Boom, there you go. How to install a spark plug on a, it's a nine horsepower horizontal Briggs & Stratton engine, and it's on a uh, Power Max Toro snow thrower. Thanks for watching.